Entrapment of the nerves around the shoulder. There are at least four entities of entrapment of the nerves around the shoulder. The first one is the quadrilateral space syndrome, and the axillary nerve will be compressed in this quadrilateral space syndrome. The patient will have pain and prosthesia with overhead activity, especially in late cocking and acceleration, with weakness of the deltoid muscle and teres minor muscle. The axillary nerve gives innervation to these two muscles. The axillary nerve supplies sensation on the outer side of the shoulder and supplies motor to the deltoid muscle. The posterior branch of the axillary nerve supplies motor to the teres minor muscle. Diagnosing this syndrome is difficult. Also, the posterior humeral circumflex artery becomes compressed in this quadrilateral space. The quadrilateral space boundaries include the humeral shaft laterally, the teres minor superiorly, the teres major inferiorly, and the long head of the triceps medially. Arteriogram or MRI with a dye could diagnose this condition. You could confirm the diagnosis by a local anesthesia block. The treatment should start conservatively and it could be release of the axillary nerve when the condition is not resolved by conservative treatment. Another entity is winging of the scapula. It can be medial winging of the scapula or lateral winging. See where is the inferior border of the scapula. If the inferior border of the scapula is medial, then this is medial winging of the scapula. In medial winging of the scapula, the serratus anterior muscle is involved. The long thoracic nerve, which comes from C5, C6, C7, is involved. So the serratus anterior, which is supplied by the long thoracic nerve, is weak, causing this medial winging of the scapula. Treatment start with physiotherapy. Try to strengthen the serratus anterior muscle. You can do external head pectoralis major transfer if physiotherapy doesn't work after a reasonable amount of time. How about lateral winging of the scapula? The inferior border will be lateral and the muscle affected is the trapezius and the nerve involved is the spinal accessory. Check a history of neck lymph node biopsy. Treatment is physiotherapy, strengthening of the trapezius. You may need to explore the nerve, but the usual treatment is Eden Lang procedure, which is transfer of the levator scapular muscle and the rhomboid muscle laterally. How about thoracic outlet syndrome? Thoracic outlet syndrome results from compression of the brachial plexus and the subclavian artery and vein. It can be neurogenic, brachial plexus compression, or vascular. Neurogenic brachial plexus is the most common, about 95%. It can occur from compression by the first strip. It can occur from clavicle malunions and other conditions may cause it. Patient may have pain, vascular symptoms, and tingling around the under nerve distribution. Females are more affected than males. In the examination, we use provocative tests such as Addison's test. The treatment is physiotherapy, improve posture, and avoid overhead activities. 
surgery at the last resort, first strap, and scalene resection. For more details, you can review my video on thoracic outlet syndrome. There is another entity called suprascapular neuropathy or suprascapular nerve entrapment. The result of entrapment of the suprascapular nerve or its branches depends on the location of the entrapment. The suprascapular nerve can be compressed at the level of the transverse scapular ligament and that will affect the two muscles, the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus muscles. Entrapment in the suprascapular notch will affect the entire nerve. However, if there is an entrapment at the spinoglenoid notch, that will affect only the infraspinatus muscle with loss of external rotation with the arm to the side. The condition of suprascapular nerve entrapment can be associated with posterior slap tear and a cyst. What do you see in the MRI? MRI can be normal or it can show atrophy of the muscle. It can show a cyst, usually at the spinoglenoid notch, or it can show a liberal tear. When you see that cyst, always assume there is a liberal tear with it or involvement of the suprascapular branch to the infraspinatus muscle with weakness of the infraspinatus muscle and external rotation weakness. EMG and nerve studies can be helpful. How do you treat that? You can try conservative treatment, but the treatment is usually decompression of the cyst and the nerve. And if the patient have a labral tear, then you will do repair of the labral tear. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.